Now, this illustration deals with actually sizing an auxiliary gutter in accordance with 366.22 of the NEC. Now, step one, uh, before we get into this step one, what is the question and the problem? Well, we're wanting to size an auxiliary gutter to house three 250 kc mills, which is the feeder, uh, THHN, copper conductors, three four alts, and three one alt THHN uh, conductors. Uh, splice two, the larger conductors, using the splicing rules of 240.21B as in boy. Usually they're a 10 foot or less uh, uh, tap, uh, or over 10 foot up to 25 foot, which we have covered in the uh, chapter 9 article, I believe it was, chapter. Now, I'm not going to bore you again with step one, but step one, again, is going to table five and based upon THHN and the size conductors that you see uh, in the illustration, we come up with a cross-sectional area of each conductor based upon the size of the conductor the insulation of the conductor, and the material of the conductor, which is copper in this case. Step two now, we have to multiply those square inch areas for each size conductor by the number. There happens to be three uh, for each one. So when we do the math in step two from the cross-sectional areas of each conductor that you see in step one, selected from Table 5, Chapter 9, and we do the math, then we total them and we come up with 2.7186 that you saw in the Quick Calc. Now, Step 3, we size the conductor. So we're using the 20% uh, rule and just dividing it in like we did uh, in the Quick Calc. We just divide 20% into 2.7186, and we come up with 13.593. Uh, now we would go to the chart, back inside cover of the design book, if you have it, and we would take a 4x4, four four, which would be 16 uh, square inch area, and yes, it will house 13.593. So the solution and answer is, a four inch by four inch auxiliary gutter is required and will house uh, the square inch area that we look at in uh, our uh, step uh, two, just like the quick count showed one and two, depending on the method you wanted to use there. And that's what this illustration is illustrating.